I mean, yeah, that's all you can really say about that shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit! Who's this? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, you're joking me. Locked. Shit! If that light goes out, I'm screwed. What the hell? This is going well because we haven't found anything yet. Oh, shit! Uh, what the hell did I just do that for? Hey, everybody. Welcome to another video and welcome back to those who remain. So, if you remember in the last video, we had to make a decision on the post office clerk who was diverting mail so it wasn't getting out to the public that the murder of Annika was covered up and I decided to forgive him send him to heaven rather than hell I'm not sure if that was a good decision or not struggle with that choice anyway onwards we go outside again so the objective said escape I think we have escaped not sure let's go have a warm over here blood on the manhole cover that's not good is it let's go to the next fire can see the weirdos in the darkness there watching me like I owe them money I don't know what that's about hey oh shit hold on there's people oh shit they all just got got well I mean I'm not walking out into that darkness that's not going to work Can we do something in here? So... Oh, here we go. There's a door here now. Wow. Thank you. Man, it's a good job I don't live stream these games. It's so embarrassing how long it takes me to find certain things. I'm in someone's house. I was just going to say, is this our house? No. A wicked storm going on outside. Oh, shizems. Let's give that up. Nope. Okay, that turns that off. I'm sure we can get that on. Yeah, boy. What's that noise? What's this? Can we do it? No, we can't do anything on it. Oh, Evil shit. Evil lurks where disappointment lodges. What? Okay, nice to know. Okay, weirdo. Um, yeah, okay, let's not mess this house up. It's not our house. Lovely note. Desmond, don't touch my World War II memorabilia. They are not toys. I don't enjoy punishing you. Why do you insist on breaking my rules, Dad? Okay. Who's Desmond? Was he one of the kids involved in the incident, maybe? Can't quite recall what the lads' names were. Okay, gotta check everywhere. I don't want to miss anything. What's this? I know if someone goes inside my office. My office is my private area. Don't forget that, Dad. Don't go into their office. No dead. I know, right? Seems a very strict dad. Shall we go into his office? See what he's got in there? See what he's hiding? Is this Dad's office by any chance? No, bedroom. <gasps> oh shit. Who could that be? What? It's a fucking balcony? This light doesn't seem to be working. Why not? Fix the external light, how do we do that? Is there some sort of basement where we can fix the Switcher? What does that say? Desmond, don't leave your room without making your bed. If you make your bed every morning, you'll have accomplished the first task of the day. Dad. Wow, what a dick. Mark and Hayden are the only two guys that understand me. So Mark is the son of the protagonist we are playing here. Hayden is one of the other kids that was bullying Annika. I think the other lad here is one of the others involved in the death. They're the only friends I've ever had, but I know one day we'll part ways. They'll probably never leave Dortmund, but I have bigger plans. I'm going to be a marine like Dad, and go on missions all over the world. I forgot to make my bed when I left for school yesterday. When I got back, 
Dad was waiting for me. He put me in my room for the rest of the day. It was all my fault. I need to learn discipline. I want to be the best in the academy. I forgot to close a drawer. Dad put me in the room until midnight. It was my fault again. Someone saw me smoking and told Dad. Spent the whole night in the room. I shouldn't be smoking. Wow. His father was strict. Hmm. Maybe another kid struggling at home, so he took it out on other kids at school. Seems like all these kids were going through something. So I can't really remember who Hayden is. Was he the son of the... What is up there? I can't reach it. Not with my bare hands. So I think Hayden was the son of the sheriff that we sent to hell. I'm not sure. Um, find an attic ease and fix the external light. Well, this is going well because we haven't found anything yet. Oh, shit! Uh, what the hell did I just do that for? Wow. What a dumbass. Jesus Christ. Scared the crap out of me. Thanks for that. Okay, let's get back to where we were. I'll see you there, everybody. Okay. So we've established that we need something to pull this down with. We need to fix the light outside. The problem is, like I said before, I haven't found anything. The doors seem to be locked downstairs, unless something's changed. I don't know, let's go see. Oh shit, yep, something's changed. Let's get back to the light, Jesus. Who's this? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, you're joking me. Locked. Shit! If that light goes out, I'm screwed! What the hell? Hang on! Oh shit! There! Woo -hoo. Okay, that's loud. What the fuck? Holy shit! Jesus Christ! Okay, that was scary. A little bit. Go see if she's gone. Wow, that noise she was making, man. What the? I've just asked that. I mean, she's gone, but what the fuck is this? What is that about? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh shit, are we in between the two fucking worlds here? What the hell? So we see shit floating in the other, in the other dimension, wherever it is. Something's telling me we're sort of slipping between the two. Okay, what the hell? So the house is all blackened out, but it's lighting up as I make my way back through. Like it's trying to tell me something. What in the hell? What is happening? Uh. I mean, yeah, that's all you can really say about that shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit! That was a bit more scary. Jesus, man. Okay, liking this. What's that? I've already read that, yeah. I've seen that. Oh, shit! What the fuck, man? Yeah, stop. That's enough. Is that Annika? Annika. You're back. Is that you throwing dishes at me? Where are you trying to tell me to go? Oh, here. Going into the other world, I think. Wow, this looks nice. Worst again. Holy crap. The lions will tell you how. The fire will show you the way. I don't like the sounds of that. I don't like riddles. I like to be handheld and shown the way. What is that? What I the? Should probably stay away. Hell is that big bastard? Okay. Something tells me this is all wrong, and that big thing over there is going to splatter me. What the fuck? What is happening here? What is this? Oh shit! What is this? He says. It's got a fucking question, isn't it? 
Can that run through there? Okay. Wait, hang on. He's still coming. What the fuck? What's this shit? Am I supposed to do something here? I don't know. Really don't know, but we'll carry on going this way. There's the lion. I think that's a good sign. Said something about fire as well, though. This feels all wrong. I've just gone round in a huge circle. There he is. Can I do something with these lions, maybe? Oh, oh shit. They're heavy. Okay, I've got to put these lions on these. Shit. Okay, well, that big thing over there is really slow, so... I don't know if any lion goes in any partic particular place. But hey. Let's just go with the flow for now. Can we find a lion? Yeah, there. Come on, buddy. Not that heavy. Then again, I've lifted a stone lion before. Much heavier than they look. So I've only seen three lions so far. And I've seen three of these. So... Maybe the ones with the candles on need the lions. There it is. Gimme. Oh man, if he comes after me now. Sounds... Sounds awful close. Is he? No, he's, he's walking away. Go, go, go. Come on, dude. Put your legs into it. Where is it? I can't see it anywhere. We've got one on there, we've got one on there. And... Got one on there. Yes! What did that do? What? I mean, what did that do? Oh, do I need three on there? One on there and two on there, okay. Well, let's put these two on here first. Yeah, I get this now. Two candles, two lions, three candles, three lions. There's the other one. Okay. Can I take these off and get away with it again? No? Damn you. Damn you straight to hell. Okay, let's go look for some more lions then, I suppose. Hey, I kind of like this part. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. There's another lion. Let's just hope and pray that he doesn't see me. Oh shit, I dropped him. Okay, got to find two more of these things. Get this one onto the tablet first though. Basically where he's just walked to as well. Holy crap! Shit, that's scary. Dude, please stop! still coming. Is it stopped? Wow, it's crazy how much he speeds up when he sees you, isn't it? Okay, now where did I drop that lion? There it is. That's one, two to go. Something tells me they are down this way. Oh, there's another one. Where are you, bastard? It's so hard to hear him till they get really close. Sometimes you just stand still and then you you get caught out. The second one is on now. I mean, is there any more? Something tells me I found them all. Either that or there's just one lying around on the floor somewhere. Huh. There's one hanging in a tree somewhere. I'm going to be fucking miffed. There it is! Wasn't even on the pedestal thing. Okay. I think he's up there though, somewhere. Where is he? Oh shit, there he is. What are you going to do, mate? Hey! Oh shit. The fire will lead the way. Okay. 
What does that mean? Do I have to stand on this? No? Oh, that's on fire. I see it. I think the creature disappeared when I put those on. I certainly hope he did anyway. The path. Well, that was a bit of a ball ache. But we got there. This. Is that where I need to pull that attic thing down? Are you kidding me? All that for that? Wow. Now where's the door to get back out? Is that it? Yeah. Let's go. Ah, back to the nice safe house. Well, as safe as can be in this situation. And um, what are we doing? Upstairs, okay. Right. Open that shit up. Okay, we've already got lights on up there, that's weird. But watch the dripping though. So, okay. Got a few of these things up here. That one's flickering for some reason. Mm, that thing is in the way. Those boxes are blocking the light. Oh, those boxes. Yeah, there you go. So, I need to get that right, but with a chair maybe. Something a bit heavier. Go on. Oh, they were so close. Let's try this box. Yes! We're almost there. <laughs> hey, this is fun. It's like a fair game. And pow! Yes, boy! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, let's get all this shit out of the way now. Just put it tidily in this corner. Oh, that's for me lights. There we go. That should turn on the outside lights. Okay, cool. There's a room with a door in somewhere. Here we go. We had a knock on this door. We opened it to see these. But we couldn't put the light on. We can now though. Let's do this shit! If that would have been locked then, I would have lost my mind. Oh, let's see what secrets we got in here. We got a light. Oh, there's a key. Come in here just for the key then. Can I switch that on? There's a... the red thingy over there. Flick it! Yes! Okay, now we can get to the basement. Nice hobby. Nice hobby. Can we find any other secrets? What's that? US Marine Human Resource Command. I have been informed that the episodes of violence and brutality on your unit haven't stopped. You have received two warnings, but it appears that you are choosing to ignore what your superiors have to say. The United States Marine Corps is an institution. A Marine is trained to fight for his country and his people. We want the best among our ranks. As such, no one expects training to be a walk in the park. But there's a difference between being demanding and being brutal. It's good to be demanding. It pushes a marine to their limits, ensuring that they excel in their abilities. Being brutal is not right and not acceptable in the Marine Corps. There are two cadets from your unit in a very serious condition, fighting for their lives right now. These men joined our ranks to become Marines, to learn from those above them. Instead of protecting your men, you became their enemy. Time and time again, you have shown a flagrant disregard for the rules, for your superiors and for the men below you. As such, I regret to inform you that you're being discharged from military service of the United States of America. If you feel these facts are incorrect, you have the right to submit any comments or documents for consideration. Okay, so Jonathan Davies got thrown out of the Marines on June the 20th, 2006. That's one of those statue lions mocking me. So say, hey, when you couldn't find that one earlier, I was sitting right here. Dear Jack, how are you holding up? Please don't be a stranger. You know you can show up any time you want. You don't have to go through this alone. I know you miss Susan, but you need to go on with your life. She was the one who decided to leave her husband and her child to go on to God knows where. Who does that? Come have lunch with his this weekend. Um, I think that means come have lunch with us this weekend or come have lunch with me this weekend. Desmond can play with his cousins. 
It'll be good for him too. Your loving sister, Kathy. So a bit confused about this one at the moment. I'm not sure who was throwing out the Marines. Was it the father or the son? Oh, we've got something else here. I hope this letter finds you well. How are things there in Iraq? Your mother is counting the days to your return. I don't think she's had a good night's sleep since she went there. I'm worried too, but for different reasons. I know you're a tough young man. And I know you'll get back in one piece. What worries me is seeing how much you enjoy going on tour. While everyone is running away from war, you're running towards it. That's no way to live your life, son. I know you love the Marines, but one day you'll have to stop fighting. You could be an instructor, have you thought about that? Everyone needs a bit of luck to survive in a war, and one day you might run out of it. Think about it, son, please. Love from Dad and Mom. Yeah, so I think this is all about the son. Went a bit crazy in the Marines by the looks of things. Is this somebody else I'm going to have to judge? This lad who got kicked out of the Marines? Because I haven't made my mind up about him yet. There, uh, we can't see. Now we can. What's down here? <laughs> I love doing shit like that, I don't know why. So his dad always locked him down here then? Was this the room he kept saying? Locked me in the room? Am I missing something? What's this under this pot? Sometimes I think how my life would be if mum was still around. It's been so long that I don't even remember how things were. Back then, she wouldn't lock me down here for sure. He makes me write in that stupid journal upstairs to control me. Does he think I'm that stupid? When someone as strange as my new classmate who arrives in a place as boring as Dormont, everyone knows that good times are coming. At least for me and the gang. Her name is Annika, she's so weird. Her mum looks like an old woman from the 19th century. They live in a cabin outside Dormont, like they're too good to mingle with the rest of us. Me and Hayden pulled a prank on Annika today. I can still see the shock on her face, dripping with all of that mud. Sometimes I think we're a bit too hard on here, but what the hell? Gotta have fun somehow, we're only fooling around. He talks about the Navy Academy every day. Why does he assume that I want to be a soldier too? Why can't I say and do what I want? I don't care about his wars and his army. I just want to get out of Dormont and never come back. He didn't just lock me in the room last night. He beat me with a broomstick. One day I'll be stronger than him. We'll see if he's brave then. And all because of a stupid prank. I don't know who told him, but I'm guessing it was Annika or her mother. She's going to pay for this. Wow. There's some tough reading in this game. Some very tough reading. But I appreciate that we have a story in this game. And it is a good story. Okay. So... Yeah, now we're going to the other world. Okay, where have we found ourselves now? Oh, sh what the? Reality seems to be shifting. Yeah, it looks like we're stuck between the two. I don't get it, what are you doing? Oh, I get it, okay, okay. Run, 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 run. Now we can get past these things, run. There we go. Oh, I like this. I really like this game. Wait, what was in the other world? Reach somewhere safe. Okay. So we're good here then. We're good there. Stop. What's next? Where are we here? Okay, have I gone too far? No. Get to the police car. Oh shit. Let's stop just there. Right. Oh, fuck. Wait. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go back a bit. Now I get it. I don't know how far I can go here. 
Oh shit, I got away with it. The hell? Okay. This looks safe. Does it not? I think there's a turn down there. Is that a turn here? There. Okay, let's line this up. Gotta go up this way. Yeah, we've gotta go in properly. Please don't be, please don't do it to me. Okay. Where's this gonna put me? That's Dormont Supermarket. Please don't switch on me again. Oh, for God's sake. He's gonna keep doing it? Is this a thing now? Oh, shit. Got a light in here. Damn. Whoa! Shitty now. After the dust had settled just before the world's end, after all the villains and heroes were gone, a lone wolf stood in the peak, looking at the sunset. Was this the end? Or the beginning? I don't know what that means, but I love it. Okay, so we've got to find a crank. Looks like it's missing a crank. Yep, yeah, for this little beauty. Our lone wolf here. But I think we're going to leave that until the next video. Had a lot of fun in this episode so far. Not quite sure how much of this game is left. I'm hoping there's a lot more. I really like this game, I like the story, some of the scares, the atmosphere, the graphics. Everything about it has been really good. I hope you've enjoyed it as well everybody. Leave a like on the video if you have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all as always in the next video.